Hi everyone. Today I'm going to read a story to you called Bear Has a Story to Tell. It's almost winter and Bear was getting sleepy. But first, Bear has a story to tell. Mouse, would you like to hear a story? asked Bear with a yawn. I'm sorry, Bear, said Mouse, but it's almost winter and I have many seeds to gather. Bear helped Mouse find seeds on the forest floor. When they had finished, Mouse said, see you soon and tunneled underground to wait for spring. Bear took slow, sleepy steps through the forest. Fallen leaves crunched under his feet. Hello, duck, said Bear, sitting down to rest his tired legs. Would you like to hear a story? I'm sorry, Bear, said duck, but it's almost winter and I'm getting ready to fly south. I will miss you, duck, said Bear. He raised his paw to check the direction of the wind. I will miss you too, said duck. And off he flew. The sun was heavy and hung low in the sky. Bear's eyelids were getting heavy too. He counted colors to stay awake. Three pink clouds two red leaves, one green, frog. Hello, frog, said Bear. Would you like to hear a story? I'm sorry, Bear, said Frog, but it's almost winter and I need to find a warm place to sleep. Bear dug a frog-sized hole between two evergreens. Then he tucked Frog in under a blanket of leaves and pine needles. Thank you, Bear, said Frog. I'll see you in the spring. Bear leaned against the old oak tree. He stretched and yawned and scratched his belly. I wonder if Mole is awake, he thought. Mole, are you there, Mole? Mole was already asleep. Good night, Mole, said Bear with a sigh. The first winter snowflakes began to fall. Many months passed and the sun returned. It melted the snow and woke the trees. Bear rolled onto the green grass. It's spring, he said. Now I can tell my story. But first, Bear brought Mouse an acorn. Well, thank you, Bear, said Mouse. Mouse was hungry after a long winter. Welcome home, duck, called Bear. You must be tired from your journey. Bear showed duck a shady, spot, a, a shady puddle that he'd found. Bear placed Frog in the sunshine till he was warm and awake. Frog opened one eye, then the other. Well, good morning, Bear. Bear, Mouse, Duck, and Frog waited all day long for the mole to wake up. Finally, Mole poked his head out into the sunlight. I mean the moonlight. <laughs> Mole, said Bear, would you like to hear a story? Bear gathered all his friends. He sat up straight and cleared his throat. He puffed out his chest. And with all of his friends listening, Bear could not remember his story. It was such a good story, he said, hanging his head. 
but winter is a very long time for a bear to remember. The friends sat together for a quiet moment. Then Mouse said, maybe your story is about a bear. And Duck said, maybe your story is about the busy time just before winter. I think there should be more characters too, suggested Frog. Like a mole, said Mole, and a mouse, and a duck, and a frog. Bear sat up straight again. He cleared his throat, puffed out his chest, and began his story with, it was almost winter and Bear was getting sleepy. The end. I think that's how our story started, isn't it? This is a sweet book. It's interesting to me how some animals go different places for the winter, right? The duck flies south and the bear pretty much sleeps all winter. The other animals change too. We're lucky because if it's cold, most of us get to stay inside. I think the pictures in this book are absolutely beautiful too. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back to read to you soon.